if watching TV could be any less important to me in 2022, then it would probably still be pretty important. But it's not the scene I'm trying to get caught up in. I want the movie. Short and sweet. Just for tonight. Maybe in 2023 I'll take two of these attempts at the house. If I'm still texting in 2024, then I might as well be tying up almost every face off in 2025. No regrets skis in 2026, even if I don't even get there. In 2027, I'll be taking zero chances. After that, it gets cloudy. I'm not saying I deserve it. I'm saying I'm worth it. Don't worry about it. Wherever this went, just know that I heard it many times before you did. I've made my peace with it. The truth is somewhere in the other dimension, like the name of a color card on the wall of the paint store, or confession of being famous when you parked and dropped me off at my front door on a regular day. If I see your side, yeah, 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 we paid. Thousand dollars just to see him. It's not like a hoe would ever want to be him. He gets migraines and he stops seeing things. And if he's reading this, he's wondering what's the deal with him. Nothing. Like the cute girl next door who never believed in him. She's going to university because she believes in medicine, but she also seems to like being a part of the family business. Her family owns the business. There's a talk show host wannabe, an EDM hoe who also paints, and two older dudes running the store. It's like a franchise, but also a standalone boutique paint shop. There's also the most obnoxious of stereo speakers ever in the back by the emergency exit. Like, we'll just start playing songs at random, the entire store will get annoyed. One day it would be trap, the next day it'd be pop, then it'd be trap, and for the rest of the week it would be trap. Honestly, it was mostly just trap. The speakers must be kind of out of whack, I guess. Too caught up in the trap to get out. Too hypnotized by the pack they made with the trap. The speakers keep it flat and lonely, like a flat line could ever be the end of the story. There's more to it. There's a phone call in the morning asking where you're at. The store is open, you were supposed to be there 20 minutes ago, now you're in last. You forget about your dream, you get ready as fast as you possibly can.